Hey everybody, John Rand Dean with you here in our downtown studios. Welcome to Fight News Now Extra, where Robin Black and I discuss some of the stories making waves in combat sports. In the news today, a tough alum has been pulled from the upcoming World Series of Fighting Card. The promotion also loses its headliner for its card in Edmonton, and the UFC is committed to the war on drugs. World Series of Fighting 20 is scheduled to take place on April 10th at the Foxwoods Resort and Casino in Connecticut. UFC veteran Melvin Gillard, who was supposed to act as the co-main event, has been pulled from the card. According to the promotion, the tough alum did not provide the proper medicals to the commission in time and will no longer be able to compete. The main event will have the middleweight title as Dave Branch takes on Honey Marks for the middleweight championship. The company's event set for early June in Edmonton will have to find a new main event as welterweight Ryan Ford has been forced out of his bout due to an injury sustained while training. The real deal was paired with former UFC middleweight title challenger Yushin Okami, who makes the move down to 170 pounds. Also on the card, heavyweight champion Molino Rama looks to defend his title against former Bellator tournament finalist Blagoj Ivanov. And finally, the UFC continues to prove their commitment to combating PEDs as they have hired former IRS and FDA investigator Jeff Nowitzki as the VP of Athlete Health and Performance. Nowitzki will oversee the sports science studies as well as being in charge of out-of-competition testing. Joined by Robin Black and Melvin Gillard out of action at the World Series of Fighting. He's had a couple of things to say about the World Series of Fighting. I think he said he'd rather be middle of the pack UFC fighter than World Series of Fighting champion. So I'm not surprised that he didn't get his medicals in time or there was some sort of miscommunication. It just, it seems to me that he doesn't want to be a part of the organization and they don't want him. I just say, let's uh, have these guys sever ties. Yeah, if they let him go, and that would be the right thing. What are you going to do? Just penalize him for this, punish him? You know, if you make your wife mad and then she treats you like she's angry at you for like a week, two weeks, it's like, Look, I'm sorry, wife. I'm sorry I made you mad. Cut me some slack. And usually they will, and you would, you know, and hopefully World Series of Fighting does. But I'll tell you, Melvin didn't get his medicals in by all accounts on Monday, and that's true, and that is a challenge. But, you know, if Conor McGregor doesn't get his medicals in on that Monday, they're going to let it go. Mm -hmm. And if Melvin Gillard said when interviewed, you know what, I've had some issues with the World Series of Fighting, but they're a fantastic organization, yep. and I feel so blessed to have an opportunity to perform for them, et cetera, and all the stuff everybody says, they wouldn't have, uh, have pulled it. The med late medicals on a Monday is an issue, but it's mostly an issue if you've been really rude in public. Uh, we talked about Ryan Ford. Uh, he's out of action against you, Shinokami. And I'll tell you, that's a fight that I was looking forward mm -hmm. to. Uh, Smolino Rama, maybe he takes that spotlight, that headlining spot against Blagoy Ivanov. And you've never seen this guy. This is the guy that beat Fedor in Sambo competition, I believe in 2009, yeah. 2007, 2009. 11-1 uh, as a mixed martial artist. This is a great fight for this young 22-year-old, very talented fighter that very few people are talking about right now. And I think this, this is an individual that should be on that top prospects list. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, there aren't that many good heavyweights in the world. And this kid is young, talented, quick for a heavyweight, super skilled, very smart. I've underestimated him a couple times as I somebody think we all have. Yeah, who's kind of absorbing what's going on beneath the, you know, the, uh, the UFC and uh, around the World Series of Fighting and when he was competing in other organizations. He uh, went to face Moko, who's also on this card, yep. right, who's a really high-level wrestler, and he's a big prospect. I couldn't believe this kid beat him. I couldn't believe the way he beat him. So watch for Smilio Rama. He's an enjoyable, fun, action heavyweight. And uh, yeah, he's one to watch. He's on our prospects, so let's tell you that. Uh, obviously, yeah, there's lots of stuff coming up in the UFC's, uh, on their agenda, on their mm -hmm. schedule for 2015. We got Mirko Krokop taking on uh, Gabriel Gonzaga in this highly anticipated rematch. But for some reason, we're not talking about this, this co-main event. Jan Blakovic, Jimmy Umanawa. Two guys that I think are kind of flying under the radar at 205 pounds. Two entertaining guys that kind of have skills everywhere. But for Jimmy Manawa, time is an issue. He's 35 years old, and he's got to make a run. So he's got to, he's got to take this fight as serious. I'm sure he's taking it very seriously, but he's got to 
leave the cage with an exclamation point. I think if you're going to get a crack at the title, the only way you're going to do it is by taking out guys like Black Yeah, I, I talked to uh, Manoa on the phone from Poland, and I asked him, you know, are you familiar with Jan Blakowicz? I knew the answer yeah. before I asked him that, which was, of course, very much so, because in that European scene, Jan Blakowicz has been a force for yeah. a long time. We carry KSW right here on the, on the network, occasionally live, sometimes after the fact. We get to commentate yeah. it. It's so, KSW is just a phenomenal organization, fun to watch, action stuff. And this guy's been one of the stars there for years. Came in against Latifi, drilled him in the liver. That was all she wrote. We've seen him throw that left leg kick to the body in the past, good on the mat, good everywhere, physically strong, mentally strong, a big assignment. But Manoa's not intimidated. These two guys have been destined to meet somewhere in Europe or Eastern Europe for years. It is a great fight. I'm also really excited to see Sheldon Westcott, Canadian Sheldon mm -hmm. Westcott, back in action, super talented, trains with Shara Vigneault, uh, his strength and conditioning, so he's a really good athlete, very talented. If he stays calm and he goes in and he enjoys this fight and he, and he doesn't let pressure get to him, he's going to win this fight. Because we've seen in the past that well, Westcott gets very, very excited mm -hmm. in that first round. And it seems sometimes that he doesn't have much left uh, going into round two or yeah. round three. So uh, the goal would be be patient, take your time, and try to have fun. Which is very strange for all of us people that yeah. have never been inside of the cage. But I hear that often. Yeah. Go out and yeah. have a great time. Yeah. How in the world can you have yeah. a great time getting kicked in the leg and punched in the face? Talk to Rory McDonald. That's just the greatest time he'll ever have in his life, and that's what you need to do. You know, he's, uh, Sheldon's really got a good team out of complete martial arts and fitness out in uh, Alberta and Edmonton. Cam Yalitz is a really talented guy. Andrew McInnes is a weirdo, but he's very, very <laughs> talented. And McInnes said to me before, he's like, listen, Sheldon, going out and fighting like a caveman worked for Sheldon at the lower levels. Right. Now he has to fight different. Once he embraces that, he's going to do very well at 170 pounds. Uh, also, uh, coming up in the next number of weeks, we have one of the best fights, I think, in the UFC's octagon. We have Leona Machida, former 205-pound champion, taking on Luke Rockhold. Uh, this one can't come soon enough. Shut up. That's not yeah, really happening. It is really happening. Shut up. No <laughs> way. That's a great fight. That is like, it's just so good. We talked to Machida uh, yesterday. yesterday. And, you know, he said he definitely has to take into account what Rockhold does, but he's not intimidated by it. Rockhold's a martial artist. Machida's a martial artist. You're going to go in and try to play punchy kicky with Machida? He likes that, but we like it too. I have a feeling this fight is just going to be as difficult for Machida as the Chris Weidman fight was, and I have a feeling the outcome might be the same. That is it for us. Don't go anywhere. More Fight News Now Extra is coming up next.